Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be speaking with you about how to wear colorful socks, when and how to wear them. Now, this is a sponsored video brought to you by my friends over at Soul Socks. Now, I know the founder of Soul Socks, and when he told me about this idea, the fact that you can get colorful socks delivered right to your door every month, so you don't even have to think about it, and it's a very reasonable price, I thought it was a great idea, and I would love to talk about that. This is a question I've gotten many times, so kill two birds with one stone, raise awareness of a great company, and uh, answer your guys' question. So let's jump into the question. The question is, Antonio, how can I wear colorful socks? Should I be? Do they have a place in a man's wardrobe? My answer, of course they do, but they're not for they're not for the style. Uh, you have to know what you're doing, and. The basic rule, and you've probably heard me say this, when it comes to wearing socks, is that they need to match your pants, your trousers. So if you're wearing medium gray uh, trousers, gray flannels or something, you should be wearing socks that match those. If you're wearing black uh, a black suit, you should have black socks. If you're wearing a navy suit, you should have navy socks. Now, those are the rules, but rules in style are meant to be broken if you understand them, if you understand your personal style. And when, once you understand that, then you can start to realize that, okay, the reason that rules there is to streamline the leg, to make your legs look a little bit longer so that the eyes don't get stuck at the feet. Because for most men, that's not a place where we want a person's eyes to get stuck. But if you own a really nice pair of shoes, and if you're in good shape, and you don't mind drawing a little bit of attention to your ankles, then by all means, wear something the contrast. Now, don't wear white gym socks. That's not, you know, I'm not going there. But what I am saying is if you own a really nice pair of colorful socks, sure, go ahead and wear them. Now, there are exceptions. Let's talk about situations in which you don't want to wear bright colored socks or to draw attention to yourself. The, those are going to be situations in which you don't want to draw attention to yourself, such as a funeral. There, you're there to show respect. You're not there to draw attention to yourself. Even your pocket square, you keep that simple and muted. I always recommend a man should show, you know, he should dress well for a funeral, but he should keep it very simple. The other one's going to be business environments. Business environments, it's all about the business at hand. You don't want to wear anything that distracts or makes you seem, um, you know, like you're taking, you're not taking the situation seriously, unless this is your personal style that you have consistently in all negotiations dressed in this manner. But if you show up and all of a sudden, you know, they see you cross your legs and you've got these really bright socks, they may think, you know what, is this, you just don't know where that person's coming from. And for them, it may be, well, is this person as sophisticated? Does he pay attention to the details like I thought? What you don't want to do is throw surprise into the equation. Okay, so the last place is going to be if you're wearing a uniform. So this is something in which you're wearing a uniform. The whole goal is to fit in, is to be uniform. That's why they call it a uniform. So if that's the case, I would avoid the bright socks. Okay, so let's talk about when would you then want to wear bright socks. I've got three examples. The first one is when you want to, uh, you know, liven up a very simple outfit. So let's go back to the navy suit, charcoal gray suit. These are classic suits. And perhaps you're wearing this every day. You're in an environment in which you know everyone you're working with really well. And you want to liven things up. But at the same time, you need to appear professional when you're standing and talking to most of your clients. However, if you're in a business meeting with a lot of your colleagues, and you want to simply, you know, send a quick message that, hey, you can have a little bit of fun. At the same time, you're not in their face like with a, with a really outlandish pocket square, you know, something just flowing out or a tie that it's a little bit too loud or a bright shirt. Perhaps the socks are going to be really nice because the thing is, is no one's going to see them unless you sit down and cross your legs or you're wearing trousers which are showing off your ankles just a bit. But I, I would be careful with that. I've seen a few, I know a few guys that wear uh, shorter trousers like that. Uh, they're usually in the fashion field and well, you can go ahead and they, there's some examples online. But guys, I'm not going to run that, recommend that for most men. However, if you want to liven up a simple outfit and you want to control when you show that bit of style, it's a great great option right there. Number two is going to be if you want to add a bit of extra uh, color coordination. So what do I mean by color coordination? I don't mean matching. 
So matching is when things are exactly the same. Color coordination is when they feed off of each other. So in the same way that my dress shirt right here actually feeds off with this pocket square, the, there's the two colors in this dress shirt are present in the pocket square. Now they're not the exact shades, although from a distance it's pretty darn close. And what many people may not have felt during this video is that, you know that pocket square looks pretty good, I don't know exactly why. Well, it's because it does coordinate with this dress shirt. So look to the other things that you're going to be wearing and try to coordinate those socks. And that means you're going to need to have a few or at least, you know, maybe half a dozen of colorful socks. Now, if you're going with solid colors, let's say you're going with a red or a purple, then, you know, it really isn't going to be uh, always easy to fully coordinate if it's a solid. Now, if it comes in with multiple patterns, like the example I just showed you from sole socks, or you've got other ones that have multiple patterns in there, or so you can uh, try to match a, just a few of the colors and it'll work pretty well for you. Now, if you're uh, the last example I'm going to give is if you know you're going to be taking off your shoes. So this one sounds, uh, let's say you're going to be going to a, you know, a Japanese restaurant or you're doing business perhaps in a part of the world in which taking your shoes off before you enter a building or someone's home is pretty common. And if you're still doing business or you're interacting with people, it's a great way to send the message. Many of you guys know I'm married to a Ukrainian. In Ukrainian culture, Russian culture, you always take your shoes off when you're entering someone's home. Just very common over there. And I noticed that uh, whenever we go to our friends' places around here, that the socks I wear, because I often do wear some colorful socks, that uh, it's the first thing that the hostess notices and she smiles. I've had a number of compliments, you know, just normally like nice socks. It's something I get a smile out of people. And Whenever somebody smiles, they can't help but feel good about themselves and feel good. So that's a good thing to send. Now, if you're doing business in a Japanese tea house, perhaps you want to, you know, push that down unless, of course, you're in the creative field or, again, you've set the tone that this is the kind of person you are. So how to wear. I'm going to give you three tips really quick on how to wear colored socks. First off, start simple classic patterns like argyle in very conservative, you know, blacks, browns, uh, grays, they, they still add a bit of color. They're getting away from the solid black sock, but they're allowing you to make that transition a bit slow. And then you can bring in brighter colors as you feel good about that. Uh, the second one is to coordinate, which I talked about earlier. And when you coordinate, again, make sure that it complements. It doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't necessarily over the power. So you're not going to want to wear a charcoal gray suit with bright or lime green socks. It's probably going to be a little bit too much. And that leads to number three, which is be careful of the contrast. So if we go back to the basic rule, the basic rule is to have no contrast, which is to match your socks with your trousers. As you get more and more contrast, which contrast is the difference, is the start, is the difference between the two colors and the way it catches our eye. The more you go to catching somebody's eye, the less conservative, the more uh, more casual it is. Okay, so hopefully you've uh, made a lot of sense. Now we've written a great video, uh, a great article that I link to right down below. Go check it out and go check out the sponsor, Soul Socks, a great company very reasonably priced. They've got a discount if you uh, decide to go with them for a full year. They've got a money back guarantee. Uh, I know the owner, good company, and I think you'll like what you see over there. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.